Okay, just want to say congratulations. You've reached the end of this course. This is, of course, video number eight, and this is about prestige and fun. So telling somebody congrats, you finished the course in the form of a certificate can go a long way. So as you can imagine, uh, most online courses don't have certificates. And if they do, a lot of times they don't have custom certificates with the person's name on them. So people's name is very, very important. You know, acknowledging people, giving them acknowledgement, prestige, and making things fun can actually go a long way. It's a known fact that people feel more connected when they are acknowledged. So for example, studies have shown that in terms of jobs, uh, people prefer being acknowledged a lot of times more than earning extra money. So a lot of times initially they think, oh, okay, I'm earning lots of money, but if you get into a job and you hate it, you're not being acknowledged, your boss you know, yells at you all the time, then it's not fun. And you're constantly thinking, how can I get out of this situation? But there's been studies showing where companies will purposely try to, you know, acknowledge people like good job, great job, you know, or let's model this person's success. Uh, let's, you know, do this and do that. And it brings them up so that they're not just acknowledged, but they feel valuable. So it gives them a sense of value, of prestige, and that they are set apart. In this case, from people who are taking the course. So maybe you can have a leaderboard, you can show people who have completed the course, and maybe people who are highly engaged in your community. And you can do this with uh, integration with gammapress.com. So in other words, adding gamification in the form of badges, uh, maybe they've earned, can actually go a long way and can also add to the fun and prestige. So that's what we mean by fun and prestige. So let's discuss how you can go about integrating these two elements. So let's start things off with adding certificates to the system. So in order to do that, you can go to google.com, you can type in certificates, school blank, Pixabay, or whatever you want. So Pixabay is a site where you can find a lot of royalty-free images that you can use. So in other words, you don't have to pay any money to use these images. Now, when you look for a course certificate template, you want to find a template that doesn't have a lot of words because what you're going to eventually do is you're going to place text on top of the image. So whenever somebody completes a course, what the system will do is it'll auto generate, put their name or whatever you want here into the template. So it's okay to have some words, but you do want to have some bare spots. So for example, if you had a certificate that had a lot of words like this, that would not work. So all you need to do is simply download one of these. So let's go back up here. And I actually downloaded one earlier and I uploaded it as an example. But if you go over here and you can click on add new certificate, but I actually went ahead and did it here. So click on edit. What you need to do is simply scroll down, you select the featured image as that image. All right, so once you do that, you click on update, and then you need to go back to the courses. And the reason why is because under the courses, there's a section for in the settings, if we go back to the courses here, that will allow you to connect the certificate to the course. So let's go to courses, let's click on edit, and we'll go to the settings. So click on settings here. And it says course certificate. All right, so 
Once you have uploaded that image, you need to go back to the courses. You need to go under the settings here and click the drop down menu. And as you can see, it says test one. So test one was the certificate. So I click that, click on update. So now whenever somebody completes that course, they will get the certificate that we created with auto generated information on that certificate. So once you've done that, you can simply go back to the certificate section. You click on edit right here and we get sent back here. Once you do that and you click on visual, the certificate will show up. Now here's what you're going to need to do. The reason why you want to have an empty space here is because you are going to need to move your mouse eventually over here. Now I can't do that. You kind of have to move it up here first and then you can move things around like so. Now, if you're wondering where in the world did I get this information? So what you need to do is scroll to the top under learn dash short codes. You click on user meta and then it says field. So what you need to do is select user first name, user last name. So these are elements that you can add to the certificate. So if we did first name, which we actually did earlier and it did last name. So we'll just do first name, click on insert short code. What that will do is it'll insert the short code wherever your mouse is. So in this case, we have first name. Now the user isn't going to see this text. So whenever the certificate is generated, they're going to see their name. So you could say, congratulations on completing this course, first name, last name, and that's it. So that's basically how to do it. It's really easy. It's not complex at all. Really what takes time is finding a certificate or even creating one that looks nice. And of course, once you're done, you simply click on update and that's it. Now, in terms of uh, gamification and making things fun, you'll need to go to add-ons and we'll need to find the gamma press, which is, it should be under third party. And there it is. So I'm not going to do it now, but you can simply click on install now. And of course I talked about gammapress.com in the previous videos. So uh, you should have already seen that with gamma press. You can start out with the free add-ons first, check out the pro add-ons and pick and choose what you want. Uh, don't go all out because otherwise that will definitely overwhelm you and that's it.